BTS reaction time. Oh yeah! All right, let's do this. Let's do it. And away we go. Hey, the army's been loving BTS touring across the U.S. and doing their big promo for the latest album. Uh, they were just on CBS Sunday morning, and uh, I thought we'd share it with you all and react to it. That's BTS performing on Saturday Night Live last weekend, the first K-pop stars ever to appear on that show. Mm -hmm. If you've got a teenager, you've probably heard of them. If not, well, Seth Doan explain. Yo, BTS is not about teenagers. Look at us. We're like 20 teenagers together. That's not, you, you didn't do your research. All of this is for BTS or beyond the scene. To call them superstars seems, well, an understatement. Get this, their arena shows in Chicago, New York, and LA, they're all sold out. They have more than 19 million Twitter followers, have topped the Billboard record charts, and Time just put them on its most influential people list. That was a right. really nice piece. Yes. Yeah. Did you Maybe. read what Halsey wrote? It was really touching. And yet, admit it, these phenoms may not be familiar. So meet BTS. What? what? They're pop stars from South Korea. Oh, I'm Kings so proud of my Korean babies. K-pop to the more enlightened. We haven't seen this music video. And it's an industry worth billions. Five billion to be exact. Oh, uh, they're comparing it to the Boys American provided the boy band? for much of the 90s in America. In sync, Justin. I guess you had either a Backstreet Boys fan or an NSYNC fan. Me, I was an NSYNC fan. About the same time, thousands of miles away, K-pop was helping to put Seoul on the pop music map. But now BTS, whose first album debuted in 2013, has moved beyond the scene in Seoul and is coming ashore in America. Coming ashore, dude. They're already here. I know, he's like. They're like number one again, three times in a row, brother. Dominating the charts here. Yeah, big time. Their upcoming U.S. tour is one of the hottest tickets on earth. Even more remarkable, considering most of their songs are not in English. Its members between the ages of 21 and 26 go by their nicknames. Jungkook, Jin, Jimin, Suga, V, J-Hope, and RM. We caught up with them at their studio in Seoul. How did you learn English? I love hip-hop. RM was signed first, and as the fluent English speaker, often takes top billing. I love the pop music, and I love the Friends. So Friends, the TV show? Yeah, the TV show. My mom bought me the, the full series. I watched it like uh, several times. I just want to speak and to listen and understand the musicians in America. I just want to say thank you, mom. <laughs> Not long ago, the boys of BTS idolized the stars they mixed with at this year's Grammys. I suddenly think, like, am I really here? From South Korea, BTS. They became the first Korean pop band to present after their fans launched a social media campaign. Thank you to all our fans for making this dream come true, and we'll be back. We purple what you. What will it take to be back? We have to um, practice the same choreography, like, again and again, several hours every day. We have to keep the promise. Did someone say choreography? Everything BTS does is meticulously choreographed. Hey, how you doing? Including, say, hey, their there. arrival. Why are they coming to so many cars? <laughs> What's up? As if they don't live in one house. <laughs> What's the point of that? Maybe some of them went to Starbucks and then... <laughs> to rehearsal on this day in five separate cars. We cannot tell you just where they were rehearsing. Over-enthusiastic fans pose a constant security risk. Can you describe that enthusiasm? 
I'm amazed by it, J-Hope said, to receive all this love. I think we're able to quickly engage with our fans by being sincere with our feelings, Jimin told us. We try to share our emotions with our fans. And those fans feel BTS truly understands and supports them. They're not just a band, they are a support. They are inspiring and uh, they really help me in the best. So. In what ways? Aww. How? Uh, about loving myself. Whenever we begin a performance, John Cook told us, I take out my earpieces and listen to the shouting and screaming. It fills me with energy. And BTS fans, they call themselves ARMY. Babe, just we were in the line store. This no. was before we became fans, though. Well, are you serious? In New York City. No way. We walked through. You acted like you don't want to be here. No. enthusiastic consumers, which is why the guys adorned the sides of soda cans and even teamed up with artists who designed their no stuffed animal way. alter egos. We were there. K-pop is such a phenomenon that here in the Seoul subway system, fans will even pay to put up giant signs celebrating their favorite K-pop star's birthday. Here's J-Hope. Wow! <laughs> These super-sized wow. posters are as close as many will get. The next time we go to a line store, maybe it'll be in South Korea. Ah! Yes. What do you... Oh. <laughs> I would be like her! She's totally... This is where we should mention that the guys have a new album out. And tell you that Sunday Morning was the first American network television program granted this behind-the-scenes access. They have another segment of this too, actually showing them doing this practice. Really? Yeah. Oh. And in case you're wondering what's up with the face masks, that constant air pollution over much of South Korea makes the masks a lot more than a fashion statement. The boys of BTS consider themselves family. They've trained, composed music, and grown up together. And yes, they all live in the same house. <laughs> at first we were like, why do we have to live together? Suga explained. But at some point we realized RM looks this is like really he's kind of like and we've become impatient. really thankful. <laughs> and V told us, I think these are the people who know me the best. We know each other better or more. In fact, most of them look like they're kind of like, I don't know if they've been there a while or something about the interview is a little off. You notice? Usually they're very, like, remember some of Jimmy Fallon? They were very hyped. More than our families know us. This is your studio. Yeah, my studio. But they can retreat to their own private spaces. This is toys I love. The shelves outside of RM's studio contain the expensive toys he's accumulated. Now this is a table. It's from America. Dude, Inside, it's a bit less the frenetic. Of action figures he's he's got. Wow. Time in here. Composing, thinking of the next song? Yes, and writing, writing lyrics. I'm um, sometimes shopping. So it's not work all the time. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I love RM's smile. Oh my God. I love his smile. How long all of this will last is anyone's guess. But there is this. Military service is mandatory in South Korea. Yeah. There's only so long you can delay it. Mm -hmm. Oh Will my you god, serve? can you imagine Jimin's gonna go to... This guy, no, like, not. takes a very serious approach to the interview. <laughs> like, everyone's sitting there, like, all stern. Like, you know, there's something about that dynamic that we felt, like, it was almost too serious. It is serious, because it's, like, kind of, like, documentary, isn't it? I, I don't know. I, I don't know if that was what they were going for, but, like, yeah. when did, like, CBS Sunday morning become a documentary? It... As a Korean, it's natural, Jin said, and someday when duty calls, we'll be ready to respond and do our best. Do you worry about breaking off, separating, going different ways? I don't want to think about it at this point, John Cook said. You got to go serve. There's just no choice. Every band in Korea, 
eventually every person goes to serve. Unless you're like one of the few um, specialized tracks like ballet performers. I think there's certain types of like uh, professions where you can skip mandatory service. Oh, really? But K-pop is not one of them. Oh my God. Can you imagine Jimin's going to go to Jimin? Every one of them. Every one of them. I mean, you have to realize, right? They put on a show that is very public friendly. But the reality is that when they're not like that, when they go to for serving the military, they're just guys. And yeah, every they're guy just ordinary. has got to be going through it. I mean, my best friend who went back to Taiwan, because Taiwan also has a mandatory service. And right. he was an artist. Like this guy I looked up to was one of the best like artists I've ever seen. In fact, he, that's what he inspired me to become an artist, to get into mm-hmm. video game design. But um, I was like, oh my goodness, he's got to serve. I'm like, I don't know how you're going to do it because like he's such an artsy kind of guy. But he did. He went in. And when he came back How out, long? How long did... In Taiwan, I forget. I think it's like two years. I think Korea has one of the longest mandatory services that you have How to do. How long? I think it's like about two and a half years. Oh. I think what's tricky here is that they're not all the same age, which means some of them will go a little bit earlier than others. So oh. it's going to be over a course of maybe four years that they're not fully together. Some may go and some may come back. We have something really good going. That's the answer. We just... Enjoy the ride, live in the moment, and that's all we could do. Now that ride is taking them back to America, where awaiting them, among other things, is a line of BTS dolls from Mattel. Oh my God, makers those look terrible. $20 a pop. <laughs> it looks so cheap. <laughs> But hey, can we just go back to we were at that store? Yeah, we went to the line store in New York City, Ludet. You know what your attitude was like that day? Uh, oh gosh, why do we have to film this? I'm like, let's get the shot. You're like, okay. Oh my god, that was before I become what? I, in fact, I even if I recall, there was even a section for BTS. Yes, yes. Now I remember. I totally remember now. Yeah, oh that was God. literally about two months ago. But we only been exposed to BTS about a month ago. I, uh-huh, but I really feel bad. I feel stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be used to this by now. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't believe it. That was an interesting interview. I mean, one is he covered a lot. So I think like if it's your first time being exposed to BTS, watching this gives a good summary. 